Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this from Osage River. It is the microfiber fleece sleeping bag liner. So it's gonna be good down to 55 degrees and you can probably pick up an extra 10 degrees if you're using this inside a sleeping bag. So if your sleeping bag's rated at say 25 degrees and you put this in there, it's gonna drop it down to be rate, being rated at 15 degrees. 70 inches by 31 inches when it is fully all zipped up. You can get it in blue, gray, and red. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like in the bag, and then we'll show you what it looks like spread out. And then I'm using it tonight as I stay overnight in an Osage River hammock. Here's a look at the liner in its actual storage bag. So you're looking at about a foot long and then about seven inches across. You get a uh, drawstring here, so open that up and you can take out the liner. Here's a quick look at it outside of its storage bag. You can tell it is blue, but it has kind of a purplish tinge. So just heads up on that zipper that runs down the side here and it's got a little hook and loop velcro up top to uh you know keep that all in place so it's not unzipping accidentally in the middle of the night and let me just step back and show you what it looks like kind of with a full body shot now i can already tell you something that i like about the bag which is that you can use it as a blanket it's not just for putting inside a, a sleeping bag or even using to replace a sleeping bag, but say you're sitting around the campfire and it's a little bit chilly before you get in the tent or you know, climb into your sleeping bag or use your wool blanket to cover up at night. Well, you can just use this sitting around to stay warm. Certainly at home, you could use it as well. So just a bunch of uses, not a lot of extra money that you're paying for it. And 55 degrees, I mean, if you think about in the summer, spring, early, uh, early fall, at least in New England, I could still be using this instead of bringing a heavyweight wool blanket or a full-fledged sleeping bag. What we're looking at here is my sleeping bag just down on the ground. And of course, I'd have a sleeping pad underneath it or I'd be in a hammock or something like that. But just to show you what it actually looks like, this is my sleeping bag and you can barely see right over there, there's the fleece liner inside. So let me open up the bag so you can see what the fleece liner looks like. Essentially, you put the fleece liner, you know, like a miniature thin fleece sleeping bag inside your bag and then zip that up and then zip your bag up and it's going to give you some significant extra warmth to your uh, sleeping process. So let me open this up just so you can see what it looks like. So here's your fleece liner. You open this up, climb into that, zip it up, zip up your bag. Now you're going to bed. When I was going to bed a couple days ago in the White Mountains with my hammock set up here, uh, what I did was instead of using the fleece liner as a liner within the bag, I basically use it as an underlayer. So you have your hammock here, and then I put the fleece liner down, and then I put my sleeping bag on top of that. And I can tell you when I didn't have the fleece liner in, and I was just there in the hammock, I could de definitely feel that cold air coming up. And really, it was, it was you know, you could feel it. It was uncomfortable as it kind of came along the bottom of your body going underneath the hammock. But once I got the liner in, a huge difference. I mean, a notable, notable difference. So hammock, liner, and then sleeping bag on top of that. So again, you can put it uh, in your bag. You can put, use it like this as an underlayer. Certainly, you don't want to put just the fleece liner on the ground. But since it's already up off the ground, I don't have to worry about that moisture. But a hammock, fleece liner, and then sleeping bag. And then you already saw I was kind of using it as a, uh, a throw blanket just for extra warmth as well. Here's a few final thoughts on this liner and just in general when it comes to sleeping bags and liners as far as your temperature rating. My experience is that if a bag is rated at say minus 15 like my cold weather sleeping bag is, it's going to be good in cold weather. If it's rated at 55 degrees, it's going to be built for warm weather. The specifics of what exact temperature is going to work best for you is something you have to figure out. So my minus 15 sleeping bag, when it's down to say 5 or 10 degrees, I'm not going, oh I'm good, I got another you know, 15, 20 degrees before it gets really cold. No, it's cold. I can definitely feel it even in the sleeping bag. Now, again, that's better than a 55 degree sleeping bag, but you got to kind of test it out and see what works best for you. That's really why I like the idea of a fleece liner. It adds extra warmth. So it's very small, it's compact, lightweight, and you have a sleeping bag and you're going out, it's rated at zero, and that night it gets down to 10, and you're like, man, I could use a little extra warmth in this bag. Boom, throw that liner in, and now you're gonna pick up, you know, some extra degrees of warmth, which is which is nice, again, for not a lot of extra weight and certainly not a lot of extra cash. The other thing I really like about this is that when you zip it up and it's that nice uh, rectangular shape, I, I just like throw it over my shoulders, kind of open it up like this, and take that heat in from the fire, close it up nice and warm, so it can be used in a variety of different ways. Uh, this is a great addition to an emergency bag, certainly for camping, uh, bug out bag, emergency kits, survival kits, or something just to keep in the trunk of your car, the back seat of your car. I try to keep a fleece blanket in the back of my car um, just for various uses. I've got some to give away. I've got some that actually keep to actually use. Um, and I think what I might do is swap out one of those blankets 
and put this in instead since it has more uses overall. So we've been talking about this fleece liner from Osage River. Definitely encourage you to check it out. On, for not a lot of money, I think you're going to add um, a lot of value to whatever kit or system you're putting together. Links are down below in the description section. Just click that show more tab. And as always, subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. And uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at, whoa, 